Ah, do you remember that first time you stumbled upon a quirky apartment in sunny California? The year was 1976, and television screens across the nation lit up with the infectious laughter of Three's company. Jack, Janet, Chrissy, and later Terry, an unexpected trio sharing not just an apartment but a roller coaster of comical misunderstandings, zany predicaments, and mischievous mishaps. It was like a breath of fresh air, an escape into a world where every awkward glance and hilarious mix-up kept you coming back for more. From the very first episode, you were introduced to a world where mistaken identities and double entendres reigned supreme, all wrapped up in a backdrop of 70 seconds fashion and decor that could only be described as groovy. As the catchy theme song played, you found yourself drawn into the lives of these characters, navigating through their everyday chaos while trying to maintain their innocent facade in the eyes of their suspicious landlord, Mr. Roper. And oh, the moments. Who could forget Jack's elaborate schemes to keep his living arrangement under wraps, or Chris's endearing innocence that often led to some of the most uproarious situations? There were misunderstandings galore, secret rendezvous, and a constant battle of wits between the gang and the prying Mr. Roper. It was a symphony of comedic brilliance that painted a canvas of laughter across your living room. But beyond the gags and punchlines, Three's company also touched on important social themes, pushing boundaries and opening conversations about relationships, sexuality, and cultural norms. It wasn't just a sitcom, it was a mirror reflecting the changing times and attitudes of a generation. So, fasten your seatbelts as we take a delightful stroll down memory lane, unearthing some lesser known facts and tidbits about the show that kept us entertained and laughing for years. From cast dynamics to behind-the-scenes stories, get ready to see a whole new side of the series that became a timeless classic. And now, without further ado, let's dive into the fascinating world of Three's Company, where misunderstandings were aplenty and laughter was the universal language. Let's uncover the random facts that make this show even more charming and endearing than you might have thought. Overview, Three's Company is a 1976 TV series that originated from the British sitcom Man About the House. It follows the hilarious misadventures of three roommates in Santa Monica, Jack Tripper, Janet Wood, and Chrissy Snow. The show is characterized by its physical comedy, misunderstandings, and witty dialogue. Origins, adapted from Man About the House, the show debuted on ABC and quickly became a hit due to its lighthearted approach to social issues and its innovative use of misunderstandings for comedic effect. Iconic characters, Jack Tripper, portrayed by John Ritter, is a culinary student who pretends to be gay to share an apartment with Janet, played by Joyce DeWitt, and Chrissy, played by Susan Summers. These characters form an unusual yet lovable trio. Unique style, the show's humor revolves around double entendres, awkward situations, and slapstick moments, often arising from the characters' attempts to keep their living arrangement secret from their conservative landlord, Mr. Roper, and later, Mr. Furley. Impact on popular culture, Three's company left a lasting imprint on pop culture, shaping sitcoms that followed. It tackled social topics with humor and featured a diverse cast. The catchphrases, physical gags, and memorable opening theme are still referenced and parodied in media today. Main content, random facts. Interestingly, Susan Summers left the show after contract disputes, leading to her character's departure and the introduction of Cindy and Terry. John Ritter's physical comedy skills were a highlight, and his character's antics often involved mistaken identities and absurd situations. The show's success led to spin-offs and adaptations in various countries. Despite initial criticism, it became a long-running favorite, concluding after eight seasons. The series also explored themes of friendship, acceptance, and societal change. A reunion episode in 2003, A Very Brady Christmas, brought the cast back together in a crossover event. The legacy of Three's company endures through its impact on sitcom writing. Priscilla and Barnes its struggled humor. behind the laughter, a glimpse into the tensions of Three's company Priscilla Barnes, a name synonymous with the vivacious Terry Alden on the hit 1976 TV series Three's Company, revealed a hidden side to the show's laughter filled facade. In an unexpected revelation, Barnes confessed that her years on the show were the unhappiest in her professional career. Her candid admission shines a spotlight on the backstage dynamics that often remain concealed from the public eye. Barnes' unease with the show's atmosphere was palpable from the start. 
Cast as Terry Alden after a tumultuous exit of Susan Summers. She was nearly driven to quit right after her casting due to the backstage tensions. Unlike the on-screen camaraderie, off-screen interactions proved to be more complex. The joviality the show exuded seemed to be at odds with the strained relationships behind closed doors. Her disquiet was not isolated. The show's evolution saw a transition in cast members, with Susan Lanier portraying Chrissy on the second unaired pilot. Curiously, the original ending featuring Lanier alongside Jack and Janet, tossing bread to seagulls at the beach, persisted in the initial seasons. This narrative choice adds a layer of intrigue to the show's continuity, as it contrasts with the reimagined opening credits featuring Susan Summers as Chrissy. Interestingly, the discordant notes within the ensemble cast were not unprecedented. Don Knotts, who had faced a similar predicament during his time on The Andy Griffith Show, emerged as an unexpected ally during the tumultuous pay raise demands and subsequent boycott involving Susan Summers. According to Daniel DeVise's biography Andy and Don, Knotts was empathetic toward Summers' plight, having experienced his own struggles in the past. In a telling moment, Knotts demonstrated solidarity by engaging with the ostracized Summers during filming. His decision to reach out to Summers conveyed a strong message of support to the rest of the cast, shedding light on the complexities of the situation. Knott's actions stood as a testament to the often unseen bonds forged amidst the chaos of the entertainment industry. In the end, Three's company remains a cherished piece of television history, captivating audiences with its humorous escapades. However, the revelations surrounding Priscilla Barnes' tumultuous experience and Don Knotts' unexpected support offer a glimpse into the multifaceted world that existed beyond Richard the laughter Klein's age of Santa Monica. On Three's company in the realm of television, appearances often mask the truth. A prime example lies in the 1976 hit series Three's Company. John Ritter and Richard Klein portrayed youthful bachelors in their early 20 seconds, but Klein's true age held a curious secret. Starting the show at 32, Klein managed to conceal his age, embodying the carefree aura of a younger man. While Ritter, aged 28 during the show's inception, aged gracefully throughout the series, Klein's age-defying feet raises an intriguing eyebrow. By the time Three's a crowd wrapped in 1985, Klein was comfortably past 40. Such mastery over perception illuminates the nuanced dance between reality and make-believe that graced our screens. Klein's ability to blur the lines of age's inexorable march underscores the enigmatic nature of entertainment. As we reminisce about the laughter and camaraderie the show brought, it's a testament to the craft of these actors who effortlessly spun fiction into reality, all while keeping their own stories just out of the audience's view. So, next time you revisit Three's company, remember that not all is as it appears. Behind Klein's portrayal of the forever young bachelor lay the artistry of an actor who wove a narrative beyond the script. Turbulent times behind the laughter of Three's company in 1976, a sitcom burst onto television screens, offering a lighthearted take on misunderstanding and misadventure. Three's company, the series that playfully navigated the lives of Jack, Janet, and Chrissy, became a cultural touchstone. However, behind the laughter and camaraderie, a web of behind-the-scenes drama unfolded, revealing the complexity of showbiz. A significant twist in the show's history involves the character Mr. Furley, the quirky landlord played by Don Knotts. The producers initially aimed to cast a Knotts-like actor for the role, yet their quest proved fruitless. An unexpected turn took place when they decided to directly approach Don Knotts himself. While this might have been a challenging proposition, it turned out that the universe had a role carved out for Knotts in the show. The irony of casting the actor originally envisioned for a Knotts-type part was not lost on the production team. While this casting coup brought a new dynamic to the show, the narrative spun off-screen was equally intriguing. As the final season loomed, plans for a spin-off series titled Three's a Crowd were discreetly set in motion. However, keeping secrets in a bustling studio is no small feat. A slip-up by Joyce DeWitt, who portrayed Janet, led her to inadvertently stumble upon auditions for the spin-off's pivotal character, Vicky. The tension that followed was palpable, particularly between John Ritter and the rest of the cast. The prospect of a continuation without the ensemble cast marked a bittersweet twist in the Three's company saga. Fast forward three decades, and the tumultuous waters of showbiz had washed away some barriers. A YouTube reunion event hosted by Cafe Mom saw Joyce DeWitt 
and Susan Summers, who played Chrissy, bridging a 30-year-long gap. Their discussion offered candid insights into the show's behind-the-scenes power dynamics. Both actresses placed a significant share of blame on Mickey Ross and the show's producers, attributing their struggles to entrenched sexism. The phrase they could not appreciate the feminine contribution captured to its sentiments, while Summers minced no words, labeling the producers as pigs. Priscilla Barnes, who later joined the show, added her voice, denouncing the experience as abusive. The laughter of Three's company reached audiences far and wide, but its legacy is now woven with the threads of the very real challenges that underscored its creation. The show's ability to reflect and refract the complexities of its era, both on and off screen, remains a testament to the power of entertainment to transcend the surface. As the series continues to bring smiles, it also carries a reminder of the intricate stories that often remain hidden behind the camera. As we bid adieu to the captivating world of Free's company, it's a reminder that nostalgia isn't just about the past. It's a bridge that connects our yesterdays with the tapestry of our present. This iconic TV series wove its way into our lives, a mosaic of laughter, misunderstandings, and heartwarming friendships that taught us the art of finding humor in life's little mishaps. Whether it was Jack's harebrained schemes, Janet's endearing sincerity, or Chris's infectious innocence, each character etched a unique place in our hearts. And as we reflect on the countless moments we spent chuckling at their escapades, let's remember that these characters weren't just fictional. They were mirrors that sometimes showed us a glimpse of ourselves. Did you find yourself connecting with Jack's determination, Janet's reliability, or perhaps Chris's unfettered joy? Or did Mr. Furley's quirky quirks tickle your funny bone just the right way? Free's company wasn't just a show, it was a canvas that mirrored the shades of our own quirks, aspirations, and relationships. So, as the curtain falls on this memorable series, let's celebrate the connections it sparked within us. Share your treasured memories, your hearty laughs, and the moments when you saw yourself in the character's shoes. Let's keep the spirit of Free's company alive by keeping its memories alive. For it's not just a show, it's a shared experience that brings us all together. Thank you for taking this journey down memory lane, exploring the vibrant world of Three's company. Your time and interest are deeply appreciated. So go ahead, share your thoughts, memories, and reflections. Let's keep the legacy alive, one story at a time. Until then, keep smiling, keep reminiscing, and keep cherishing the connections this wonderful show has ignited within you. Warmest wishes.